I have to admit that even though we did not score, I really enjoy watching my team. Uh, the passing and movement was a joy to watch. And don't, remember, don't forget they are in a fatigue uh, uh, situation. We train quite hard. So even entering the pitch, they're quite tired. But the way they moved the ball was a joy to watch. And I can see us slowly uh, becoming more of a team. And the way we move the ball, I can see us becoming really, really strong. I mixed the team up again today with uh, import and local striker. Second half also, but you, you can't tell the difference <laughs> in the first half or second half because I thought the team, both halves, did quite well. So what about uh, compare with the uh, team before this? Oh, Terengganu is much, much better side. Uh, more experience, more physical presence with Conti up. Uh, Gustavo is a very tidy player. Then they've got the boy, uh, is it Chito? Or Chichaito, I think, yeah, Chaito is still to come in. They uh, are quite a good team. Uh, I think Terengganu will be also uh, a good contender for, for the Super League to win. Don't forget still players like uh, Ismail Farouk. Even today he's playing on the right wing, but he was, he's a little magician to watch. And if there is any player I would like to take from Terengganu, that would be Ismail Farouk. He, I love him, he's a very good player. And with him they've got a star. But I'm very fortunate this season. I have several players who can do similar, if not better, job in in, in Badri, uh, Isaac Pupo. We have Brendan, so we we have options. So for the two matches, so we didn't see uh, Ape and also Pia. So what happened to them? Uh, Ape and Pia, they are still on holidays. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> they came they came back last week and uh, they've trained maybe five six days. Um, they are key players for us, so I have to build them up and they are a little bit behind of the group, but slowly they are catching up. Uh, honestly, I am in a luxury position, even though it's tough, it will be tough to pick the right team. I like this kind of toughness because now I have options, last year I didn't have options. Badri has uh, been named uh, local midfield of, of 2014 season. And we have local striker in Farhan, also 2014. So it just shows you the strength and depth we've got for this season. And I'm looking forward to have both back. I think they will uh, travel with us to Thailand uh, in a few days' time, and there they will play more games. So at the moment, uh, do you satisfied with the striker now? Yeah, very much. Don't forget, uh, I mix them up. And I've told them that I want all of the strikers to be in the same physical uh, position as, as all the others. That's why I mix them up. All of the strikers are getting equal playing times because I want to pick the two sharpest. And I don't mind whether they are two locals. If they are sharp and they're firing before ATM, they will start. Um, not because I have import strikers means guarantee they will play. But I think you saw also today Pacho's movement. Even though he didn't score, his movement was fantastic and it's joy to watch. And he knows where the goal is. So I have high hopes for our strike force, even Iswan and Fakri. And then we've got Carillo, who is also very quick. If I look at my import, I think I cannot complain. But my, my love at the moment is for my local players. I, I am so proud of every single one of them. They are like my little children. And you know, my dad told me that if a shepherd has 100 sheep and he lose one, he will leave the 99 and go and get the other one. And the same with all my players. There is not one that I, I don't rate. Uh, they are all very good. I've told them, we don't have a first team or second team. We have a squad. And the squad is good enough to compete and win trophies this season. Okay? Thank you.